right, I'll share with you a very important career advice. Huh? This can actually help you in your career growth or, uh, uh, you know, you'll stagnate or end up in a decline. So pay attention to this. The other day I had a call with a potential client. Uh, obviously, will not give you specifics. But this uh, guy, he told me that he is a, uh, what do you call that, graphic designer, okay? And uh, he wanted a salary that was being paid, let's say for example, I'm just giving an example. He was getting $2,000. His goal was to get, you know, $4,000 and then subsequently increase to 6 and 8 and go till 10, you know. There are these goals, he had that thing in mind. But immediately his goal was to get double the salary. So then I asked him, uh, okay, make me understand. You are getting $2,000. He said, yeah. Why should someone pay you $4,000, double? So he said, hey, you know, the normal stuff, my experience and uh, my creativity and you know, this is the market rate or my friends have got some of my friends. Okay, fine. Then I asked him, why do you think you didn't get it? Okay. So when I asked him this question, why do you think you didn't get it? His immediate answer was, yeah, I, I kind of realized maybe I was doing something wrong. So that is why maybe I don't know what it is. I decided to come to you. So then I asked him, like, so what is your assumption? If you take my service, what will happen? Yeah, I, that is what I wanted to discuss with you, that if I take your service, what will happen? So, you know, obviously I had his resume and all that. So I looked at his resume. I said, see, I can spot the first problem. It's your resume. And it's not that the color of your resume or the uh, design, layout, creativity, because, you know, being a graphic designer, they put a lot, lot of these colors, they splash colors and creativity, you know. I said, it's not, then he said, yeah, yeah, I know it's the words. I said, no, it's not the words. If it was the words, you could just copy paste someone's CV with boombastic words or use a thesaurus or, uh, you know, go to a rewriter or even chat GPT, have fluffy words. I said, it's not the words. So then he asked, okay, what is it? I said, it is what you're positioning yourself as. He said, I didn't understand. I said, okay, it makes sense. I said, I want you to imagine a guy is working as a waiter. He said, fine. So if you are a waiter, uh, what can you be? What is your career progression? He said, waiter, senior waiter, then head of waiter, okay? Then uh, after that, maybe you'll be, you know, manager. I said, there's no waiter manager. I said, straight away it goes maybe to assistant food and beverage manager in a hotel. I said, yeah, yeah. And then food and beverage manager. I said, then after that? I said, yeah, then maybe you can, if you know how to run a business, you can open your own business or you can be general manager, director, CEO. I said, fine, you're right, okay? So now, if you observe waiter to head waiter or senior waiter to head waiter, that is where the career path of a waiter stops, okay? There is no manager waiter, there's no director of waiter, no. Straight away, then you have to take on other skills. Okay, from being a waiter, can you design the menu? Can you organize a banquet? Can you generate income? Can you manage a team of waiters and chefs and cooks and clients? So I said, there you expand into multifaceted roles. So even with you, in terms of your graphic designer, you can look at graphic designer, senior graphic designer, okay, manager and 
manage a team of graphic designers. But the minute you move to manager, you have to manage people. And with managing people, you have to also deal with clients, you have to deal with customers, you need to generate revenue. And immediately he replied, yeah, I deal with clients, I do freelance work and all that. I said, yeah, but you're missing the point. The point is, when you're a graphic designer for $2,000 in this well-to-do country, I can get a same graphic designer from Bangladesh, from Sri Lanka, from uh, India, from the poorest village. So what are you going to tell me? Oh, they don't have my experience? I can get an experienced guy. They don't have my creativity? I can definitely get a creative guy. And nowadays you can get 18 year olds who are graphic designers. And on top of that, you also have people your age, by the way, he was in his 40s. I said, your age, who are ready to do it because, you know, they have someone working, they're doing it part time or they're doing it freelance as a hobby. They might even do it. OK, I'll do, uh, you know, slightly cheaper or you can go to Fiverr, any of these third party websites where they literally slog to keep the client happy or if nothing else. I said, today you have softwares that do the work of uh, AI. You just have to pay a, a subscription for $7, $15. You can check Canva and all that. I mean, and you know the work that he showed me, all the designs, the fonts, the spacing, the music. I said, all this, if I were to give your work to one other person, some student in India, or Bangladesh, or Sri Lanka, or, or Africa, and tell him, listen, duplicate this, make it better, and give it to me. Sure, they'll make it better. I said, how many guys copy resumes? How many guys copy websites? How many guys copy uh, books and PDFs? And I said, uh, your skill, and most importantly, your skill is not a rarity. It is not so rare that I can't get. I have dime a dozen. There are countless number of people who can do this. So, then you tell me, why should someone give you double the salary? When maybe for the same salary that you're currently getting, I can get maybe two guys, maybe I can get five freelancers. Maybe I can get someone who, a freelancer, you show me the work and then I'll pay you. I said it's much more cheaper to maintain someone like that on a you know, contractual basis, five guys, and I can bargain with them. And by the time this guy was completely discouraged and he didn't know what to say. So I told him, see, listen, this is not me trying to piss all over you and rain down your parade. Rather, I'm giving you the realities of life from the point of view of a businessman. I said, forget businessman today, even the normal user, the normal person, even a youngster who uses the internet will have a quick Google search to find different options. How are you going to fight with the, the competing market? And I told him, given how AI is making things easier and you can do it by yourself, like there are websites where you can remove the background. There are websites where you can, you know, the photograph can be enhanced. So many people are using an enhanced photograph of their face. I said, today you don't need even avatars, even cartooning. All this is done by artificial intelligence. I said, you're in a dying career. See, the same example that I gave, the waiter. Okay, there are different levels to a waiter. Maybe you can be a waiter for a small restaurant, then medium. Then maybe you can go to a five-star hotel. Then maybe you can work for the most premium hotels. Obviously, there's a salary increase there, massive, plus benefits, stay and everything. Then if you are the waiter for uh, or a butler, it climbs up many notches higher. Then imagine if you are the waiter or butler for a celebrity, Will Smith, or uh, the President of the United States. Then obviously your perks and benefits go sky high, man. Or you are some waiter or butler for a ruling family. You know, then you become one of a kind or you are a celebrity butler. Okay, but these are very rare. It is like saying, from an executive, I want to go be a CEO. So, 
you know, you, you can take various careers, whether it's a painter, whether it's an electrician, whether it is even an engineer. See, what I want you to do is a very simple strategy, very simple thing. Whatever career path you have taken, see what salary you're getting. Look at the next level, what salary they are getting in your organization. Look at the third level. And once you get at least, say, five levels, I, I seriously want you to do this. Speak to the guy above your level and ask him, Sir, how many months or years did it take you to reach here? When did you start your career? When did you finish your college? When did you start your first job? When were you my position? When did you get here? How did you get here? The number of years he tells you, you can be rest assured in and around that average is the norm. However, if there is someone who every year gets a promotion, that's a rarity. That means you're definitely either very lucky or you have rare skills of creativity and customization or revenue generation nobody else has. But when you speak to general people, you'll get a general opinion. And then on top of that, you need to also keep in mind there is office politics that comes into play, favoritism, sexism, uh, luck, you know, depends on the organization. If you're working for a small organization, maybe there is no, say, after a graphic designer, maybe it's directly the owner, so what are you going to do? Or you work for a multinational company and after graphic designer, there is a senior graphic designer, but he has been there for donkeys ages. Unless a new vacancy comes up or they get a massive new project where they need to allocate new fresh blood, or maybe they're looking to have one of their own. Until that, you cannot. So what, you know, what solution I suggested for him? I said, you, I told him from, you know, graphic designer, stop positioning yourself as graphic designer. Stop having the CV of a graphic designer. Rather focus on being someone who can generate benefit to the owner. And what is a benefit? What are the multiplicity of jobs you can do or you have done that can benefit the owner? It can be anything, administrative tasks, can be client management, speaking with the client, owner doesn't have to go. Or it can be, you can do both graphic designing and you can do, say, deliveries or meeting with customers or communicating to customers or even marketing the company or forget that. You bring in sales, if you bring in sales, which is the most uncomfortable job, 99% of the people don't like to do it. But that is without a doubt the most in-demand skill that any employer will ask. So just imagine if you were to be an employer, uh, what would you prefer? And you might say, hey man, I don't want to get into sales. Well, guess what? Tomorrow if you run your business, you're running a business, you have to be the salesman. You have to sell the company, you have to sell yourself, you have to sell your services, you have to sell everything. And there, once you become business owner, you have to do everything. You have to manage salaries, you have to manage rent, you have to manage electricity, water, uh, expenses, government, legal fees, dealing with customers' nonsense, follow up on payments, collecting payments, bank issues, payment issues. Oh, the list goes on and on here. Yeah. I know this might sound very uncomfortable to many, especially who have taken, see, career jobs like, which, you know, which no longer have the demand or will die out, like graphic designer. Nobody's going to pay high salaries unless you're working for the world's best creative agency like Oglivy and Mather or BBDO. You know, it's like such a creative company where they not only take you as graphic design, they train you to become a project manager. They train you to handle brands. Like I know of one of my clients, he's handling the account for Samsung. He's handling the account for uh, you know, Toyota, what was the third brand? A chocolate brand, uh, you know, M&M, Snickers, Mars. So he was doing these three, he's in charge. He started as a graphic designer. Today's salary is, I think, fivefold. Just imagine, because the revenue that they're bringing is crossing millions. So obviously, if someone is generating millions, 
and or taking care of that why not so if you are you know these career paths like uh, graphic designer seo even coaching there are dime a dozen coaches here then uh, influencer model modeling all these are dying careers all these are dying and they have a very short shelf life and they have a high degree of volatility even becoming an actor comedian very very tough just because you see people applauding and uh, they being famous or they trying to show that they are famous and rich and even my job that i'm doing i'm just lucky i've told you this i'm lucky and right time right place right everything hard work my personality my looks the choices that i made the target market before me there was nobody doing this so i just identified a market a niche now can there be competitors oh thousands thousands of competitors who are they i don't know i'm i'm being honest i'm not insecure but i'm pretty sure if you do a google search you will find companies and freelancers fraudsters scammers or people promising the sun moon and stars go to tiktok you i've even seen 18 year old one female overweight is not the word but wearing skimpy clothes where you can literally see the contours of her cleavage and uh, private parts and she is talking about resume rebrand somebody had sent this to me from my group to tell me like in a very funny way uh, loiser your competition and she i have spoken about this in my previous video she was like uh, she is doing a dance okay she is doing a dance with beats and then the text comes on is your resume like like it shows four or five hits and there she has shown a black and white resume she said, you'll never get a job and then she said do you do this and then she lifts her leg i don't know for what reason and like kind of shows that she is kicking the camera goes black and suddenly appears and then she is wearing a sexy dress oh lord help me my eyes were like oh sheesh with the bulging fat from all over your cv should be like same like now she's showing colorful cvs what nonsense man oh and then there are these companies that say oh, you have access to 50000 cvs database of half a million cvs and we can customize any cv just put your details and everything will come out in words yeah how does it match your personality man you think this ai knows your personal knows your loopholes knows your drawbacks knows the challenges that you face then people say oh i'll speak to this guy in fact one of them had the audacity to tell me hey loy whatever rate you're charging you know this this guy from uh, uk he's a gora he's a white he's actual born british he's charging me 10% of what you're giving me and if i confirm the cv he'll give me consulting for free i said take it because he was under the impression white skin white passport and accent is far greater intelligence i said i want you to take this guy i really want because you're getting such a great benefit then when he realized his bullshit not that there was no such guy when he realized his tactic was not working with me no no but loy i know that you're good and i said you don't know whether he is good try him out and if after you try him out he's not good then come to me then there are people who tell me oh this person give me a guaranteed employment if anyone's giving a guarantee boss go just imagine you're getting double if you're getting double the income that extra amount multiply into 12 that much you'll be getting in hand isn't it worth to pay this guy maybe 1 2 3 4 or even one year salary the difference or you can pay monthly see like i tell people when something is too good to be true it's generally the case in a nutshell what i want to tell you is please be smart about your strategy about your career choices if you have dreams whatever it is and you take up a particular profession google search and find out what is the hierarchy or speak to people in your industry see if you take on dj 
okay the world's number one dj whoever it is durad or i don't know uh carl cox or i listen to some of them uh not carl cox i'm just saying a name okay okay maybe they are getting half a million per show half a million dollars but for half a million dollars they get a crowd maybe of you know 100000 people coming to their venue or when they play it's a full house even address alba the actor you can google search this and he can address alba performance brilliant fantastic dj but uh, he's there because he has a name and when he performs remember djing is not about oh his mixing is amazing no the business of djing is when you play how many people come running to listen to you like if you play in a hotel does the hotel manager make revenue let's say for example uh you know when i was a dj i was an amateur dj i would play okay and those days i would charge 500 dirhams okay which is roughly say 127 dollars or one something so why that manager is to take me is before i came they were making let's say 1000 say 10000 dollars they were making before i came after i started to play they made you know on a bad night 1200 or sometimes 1500 so my expenses were taken care of and they didn't mind it okay we get music and a little bit something extra but now if i was playing there and they got a full house and double the revenue don't you think they would want to negotiate with me and pay me much more so i need you to use business sense i need you to use common sense i need you to think street smart and understand okay i've taken the job as an engineer what is next senior engineer what is next after that what is next what is next and uh, ask these people how many years did it take you 5 years 10 years 15 years and then also ask them what is the quickest you know anybody who has reached this level and then you know when you chalk out your own trajectory you'll come to know what are your chances and possibilities and yes you need to evaluate yourself in terms of your other skills communication business sense likability managing stress office politics managing uh, man money resources material you know man 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 money material mmm and resources and finally you know other factors that you cannot measure like uh, you know charisma skills education and yeah luck automatically falls on your lap when you have all this so think about what i said and uh, remember if you are confused ask people who are senior to you in your line of work and uh, you know speak to people who are mature than you who have years of experience and if you are still confused then take up a professional mentoring from somebody who can guide you all right so i hope this video helped put your comments and thoughts down below and let me know what do you think do you think i'm right do you think i'm wrong love to hear what you have to say all right you guys take care just